Hello, I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruel cool YouTuber that's trying to have a yellow no buy. And today it is a second part, kinda, the opposite of a video that I did earlier this week, I think, or that I have done earlier, where I talked about seven palettes that I didn't thought that I was going to love. But that I do. And today I'm going to talk about seven palettes that I thought I was going to love when I bought them. But I don't. So yeah, I think we just hop into this. And um, I don't know what more to say. So I'm going to scoot a little bit and then we're going to start. And of course it's going to be some Colourpop palettes in this one. Because Colourpop is a brand like I buy palettes because they aren't that expensive and I'm like okay I like this color store I think I'm going to love this so I buy it. First up I bought this monochromatic palette from Colourpop and I thought like I, I, I'm going to love it and that is the Weren't You Glad. Orange is one of my absolute favorites when it comes to eyeshadows and I was like can it be better than an orange monochromatic palette and the palette looks like this. I bought it, I used it I don't know what it is about this, but it isn't like what I want in an orange palette. I don't know what I want more of, I don't know what I want less of, but it's just not this. This is not what I want. And I don't know exactly what it is with this one that I don't like. I do like some of the shadows, um, but I hate it's a pressed glitter in this one. And I think like all the mattes are a little bit too similar. And I think like they could have done a really deep orange instead of this one. This is just an orange palette that I had such high hopes for. But it just it doesn't fill up my love for orange. And I was like, this is going to be my favorite monochromatic nine pan palette from Colourpop. It's not. Not by far. The next one is like the cutest palette I do own and I thought like I'm going to love this palette so so much. It's the Nomad Tokyo Haruko palette and this palette I do really like it but I feel it is a little bit hard to work with. Um, The top row is matte. The second row is satin shades and then like I don't get you need like this many satin shades and the last row is duochromes or multichromes. No, I think they are only duochromes. Only duochromes. And this palette isn't consistent in like how it works. I have done some amazing looks with this one. And uh, like the orange is really good and this purple one is really good and I think it's this one that is also really good but it is like it's not consistent and I don't know if you can see I think it's too light but like the shadows do look really beat up and it looks like I've used like this a lot and this a lot but I haven't I have only struggled with these and I did a free looks one palette with this one and I did struggle a lot. Some of the first looks went really really good. Then I think it was the third look. I did struggle so much. I did redo it so many times and I wasn't happy with it. And I really thought like, because this was my second more pastel palette, I had the creepy cute. And I was like, this is going to be so fun. But it is a good palette, but I don't love it and I don't like the middle row and like the duochromes it's just nothing I thought more of this I thought like this is going to be one of my favorite palettes but it's not next up is a palette from Odin's Eye and I only have two palettes from Odin's Eye so I guess you know which one I thought I was going to love but I don't it's the Urid palette I it took a really long time before I actually bought something from Odin's Eye and then I bought this Urid palette and the collab with Annette's Makeup Corner. And that palette I do love, but I like I expected to love this. But this one, 
First of all, it's not the same formula in the collab palette as it is in this one. And also, like for me, this is a one, one look palette, if you get what I mean. I think like I have used this one time. I think I tried to use it one more time, but like I wasn't inspired at all. And all I want to do is a green dark grungy look with this one and this one and maybe this one and this one. Th that's like all I want to do. And I thought that I was going to love this palette because I've seen people do amazing looks with this. And I did that look and then it was done. So I don't love this, but this was one of the palettes that I really dreamed of buying and then I finally did. And I was like, okay, it wasn't more than that. I know I should probably try it more to like see, but after using the giant wolves and then using this one, I felt like this is not the same formula. And this is not as good as the giant wolf and that bummed me out a little bit and only I get I guess that I had really high expectations for this because I wanted it for so long. Finally got it, it wasn't what I expected, and then you get a little bit bummed out. Then I have another palette from Colourpop and that is California Love. I bought this at the same time as um, the Sweet Talk as I talked about in the other video. And I thought this was going to be one of my favorite palettes. Like I was like, I want to have a neutral palette leaning to orange. That is going to be a palette that I will use every time I will do a makeup look outside of YouTube and in every like get ready with me I'm doing. I'm going to use this palette so much. I got it home, I opened it, I looked at it and I was like, did I really need this? And that I think sometimes with Colourpop, like the swatches look amazing and the pictures online looks amazing. Then you got it home and you're like, mm. I expected more orange, I think. So maybe if I mix this with orange, you're glad. Maybe that is a good palette for me. But I just wanted more orange out of this. And like, if I think about Sweet Talk, that is peachy pinky leaning that is so much more pinkish leaning than this is orange leaning if you get what I mean this feels like a neutral palette where they have popped in an orange or two not that way around and I actually thought like I, California love is going to be my new everyday love palette it wasn't then of course I need to talk about an Ace Beauty palette the Vintage Dawn. I talked about the Scarlet Dusk in the other video and I show this as well. I thought this was going to be my new favorite palette from Ace Bidet. I thought I was going to love this so much. It's my dreamy little rainbow-ish palette. <laughs> Meh. But the reason for that is because not all the shadows are that good and also like these two confuse me a little bit or maybe mostly this one because it's too few colors to do a blue look. Of course you can do a blue look with two blues, but I hope that you get what I mean. And it's like, you can do a lot of orange looks in this one, but like not a good blue look or not a good green look. But like for an orange yellow look, you have the whole top row, the second row and this one. So it looks really good. But when I'm finally like using it, I am not that overwhelmed. And I am like, we could have been so good together, you and I. But we are not. And it feels like this is going really fast. Then I have two palettes left. And I think that one of them, have I ever used it on YouTube? Yeah, I think I've used it once. And this, I thought, I think it was Anilka Nyqvist that talked about this and she really, really liked it and I love the look she did with this. And I was like, okay, I'm going to pull the trigger on this one. It's a Colourpop palette, Colourpop palette. I did, I got it home, I did a look and I was like... But now I'm like, maybe it was just a bad look. And it's the Lush Life palette. And, oh, it's Catherine in this one. How did you get there? It's this one. I don't know. Because it has like this green shade that I think I would love. But 
but it's just... Have I even used this? I should have had. I can't even remember the look that I did with this one. But I wasn't like that overwhelmed. And I thought like, okay, this is going to be amazing. So yeah, I, I am doing a Colourpop week soon where I'm using the palettes from Colourpop that like I have forgotten about and this is absolutely going to be in that one. But I, I think that I can really start to like this. I, I guess I just need to use it more. Yeah, I thought like it's going to look amazing. I'm going to just throw myself over it and use it all the time. Apparently not. And the last palette I want to talk about, and this is my most expensive palette, so I guess you know which one it is. Or is it? Yeah, if you just see to the price of the palette, it is my most expensive palette. Um, because I bought it in Sweden. And like, I was so stoked. Because people rave about Natasha Denone and people raved about this retro palette. And I was like, okay, I want to try Natasha Denona. I did have the Mean Love palette that I didn't like, but I still wanted to try another. And people raved about this and said, like, it's the best eyeshadow palette that Natasha Denona has come out with. And I really love the formula. This is one of the midi palettes, I guess. Because it's one bigger. And then they have the Minis. Am I mistaken? I think this Natasha Denona and me, we are not like a thing. And I have been wanting a Natasha Denona palette for a while. And I was like, I think I should buy something that is not the color story that I have. Because then I was like, maybe I'm going to use it more. And then people raved about this one. And I, I was like, okay, the retro palette it is. I bought it. I used it. Hmm. My biggest problem with this one okay I have two big problems with this one one that I should have that I know was going to be a problem for me and the other one it bounced me out the problem that I would know that was going to happen is I don't like when it's too many different formulas in a palette because I don't see the point matte shimmer that's all I need maybe do a chrome and multi-chrome but like not the pressed glitter not like satin shades not like cream to powder that is not a life i'm living and that i did know but i still bought it so that's on me the thing is i know that i am really i'm, I'm a pale person but some of these shades they are just so dark on me like it, they are not true to pan and that is a thing that bugs me so much like you can look at the palette and like vision look and then you try to do it and it's not true to pan and it's just doesn't look as you wanted it to and that annoys the crap out of me. That is one of the worst thing I know. And it's usually not to the better, it's usually almost to the worse. And I haven't used all the shades in this, but it's just not for me, Natasha Denona. I think I just have to like, Natasha Denona isn't a brand for me. I don't get the hype, I do not, yeah, it's just maybe a brand for everybody else and not for me. I guess I just have to come to terms with that. And um, yeah, I don't know if I would have liked it more if I bought a color story that I do own. I actually have no idea. But yeah, I thought I was going to love the retro palette, but I do not. And yeah, that was all for this video. I do hope that you liked it. And if you do love some of these palettes and I don't, that is completely fine because we do not think the same about everything. Maybe nothing. So yeah, I really hope that you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!